Welcome to White Cube Hong Kong with my exhibition Sky Sound um, with all new works on paper and paintings. The works in the show are part of an ongoing investigation into uh, paint and thread, the relationship between the two of them and the ways in which I can kind of amplify and explore their qualities as mark making materials. All of the paintings hold language and lines of poetry by my mother, who was a poet who passed away when I was very young. And she also in her work explored topography, landscape, and the relationship between the visual language, written language, and the environment. And so there's a sort of a, an amazing connection between the works. And in many ways, I felt that in making these paintings, I was continuing a conversation with her work. Usually when I start a painting, there's an initial painterly gesture that happens. And from that initial mark, there's a series of responses. And maybe they're painted or maybe they're embroidered. But, you know, one thing happens and then I respond to that and respond to it. There's just a sense of something needs to happen until I no longer need to keep making things happen and that's when a painting ends. At a certain point as I'm making, there becomes a, a sort of a clear connection to a line of poetry and then those two come together to make a new kind of meaning between them. One of the things that I really enjoy exploring as I'm making is the ways in which I can play between the thread and the paint. Making the thread behave the way paint would behave or making the paint behave the way thread would behave, I sort of confuse or muddle their relationship and, and in a way amplify what each of them is able to do. As I shifted to painting and working on linen and stretches, the language ended up finding its way onto the spines or the, the edges of the paintings. And they feel partly like the spines of books and partly like the paint itself or the image has spilled off the surface and onto the side and that's where the language then joins it. I like that it's there and it's, it's a kind of a secret but it shifts and changes once you've read it, then you come back and look again at the painting and you see it differently again from the language that's joined it. The colors for these pieces really range from quite muted or maybe kind of careful washes through to really exuberant kind of colorful bursts, which kind of capture a certain kind of radiance. The works on paper are like an ongoing process. They're not necessarily tied to the paintings that I'm making. They sort of exist to the side. And I like having them as a place to experiment and a place where really anything can happen. The largest piece in the show is also the first piece that I made. It's called Sky Sound, which also gave the title to the show. And the imagery in that is very celestial. It grew out of a desire to explore my primal language, which has felt for many decades now to be a kind of exploration of the topography of the skies. The paintings grow out of an exploration of, of symbols and, and cosmologies that I've been looking at my whole life as an artist. And they have celestial elements and all of these systems intersect with each other and also are kind of teased out between this relationship between thread and paint.